Hi, Wait, welcome back to the yeah, Logitech yeah, yeah, yeah. Land. Yeah. Welcome back to Let's Go Land, brought to you by Logitech G. We've got Jolt versus Didis, Snake versus Kazia. What a match made in heaven. Hmm? Yeah. So joining me for this cast is ABZ and Ruan Ruan, who came all the way from Mumbai. Legend say he's still traveling, but he's here finally. What's up, guys? How's it going? We I will good. be traveling in like three hours, so. In three hours. Yeah, I've got a 10.55 bus. So. Uh, 10.55 bus. Well, guys, uh, you'll think this tournament will end by then. We'll find out. Make sure you tune to the next episode of Quartz143, twitch.tv slash Quartz143. Wait, it's being streamed on that channel, right? Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, yeah just, start to become, just start to get the confirmation. Yeah, so DDS is what he's called offline, I think. I've heard everybody offline say DDS. DDS. Yeah. Online, it's DDIS. You know, you just, it's like... To be honest, DDS kind of just rolls off the tunnel. It does, it does. Damn, look at that. Joel's got 105 damage per stage on him, and my god, Deedus is actually. Ooh! Good grenade launcher right there. Ooh, but just, I have no idea how these characters work, so you guys will have to take over the yeah. cast. So basically, Snake, I think, uh, I don't know, I feel find this matchup to be a little bit Snake favored. Snake has the potential to keep Kazi away from him, and Snake has frame one grenades, which, you know, if Kazi messes up his combo by a single frame, he's just gonna explode along with Snake. And you can see that happening. Just like that, exactly. However, it's not really that difficult for Kazia, for Joel to Kazia to get him because oh, that's oh a God, kill that is an explosive man. stock. You know what else is explosive? The Logitech line of products, their <laughs> keyboards, their mice, their headsets. You guys should check it out. Just like Kazia is kicking the living shit out of Snake right now. Goes high, uses the Smashville platform to retreat back off stage. DDIS knows that he has to just stay away from Joel at all times, and if he's nearby, he needs to have a grenade ready because he can't afford to take hits at close range. Close the C4 up in case he might need it for recovery there. And he's now back on stage. Drops another C4. Don't have, oh, tries to read a roll away. GDI is kind of running away with this game right now, but Kazir doesn't need a lot to convert back to a win. And that's going to be the first talk. No, Jolt missing his up B and DDI is still alive right now to edge guard him. Gets the Nikita. Can he make it back to stage? Oh, Jolt lands with a down air, taking him off the side. But let's not forget, he is still high on damage. One hit that DDI is can, you know, any one of his uh, explosives, right? Can just take oh. him out like that. Just like that. That's just like it. that. Jolt not able to even utilize the rage drive. But he doesn't need it to bring up that damage. 76% on Kazi already. Is he going to live it? Jolt wave dashing down, he's not going to be able to make it back! Oh, that is... you hate to see that. You hate to see that. <laughs> game 1 I think it's best of 5. Yeah. Game 1 goes to D.I.S. Quartz is best of 5, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a best of 5, looks like our production ABC messed up a little bit, but that's okay. You know, we still love him, we still love him. He's, 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 he's here for his unpaid internship. Exactly, exactly. You know, he's already done it once, he can do it again. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> one to DDS. Yes. <laughs> a good line yeah, one by one of our. Oh yeah, sorry. You have a great line by one of our chatters. You hate to see that, unlike log unlike the Logitech line. Very true, very true. You check out their new G503 Hero. So their amazing mouse kind of looks weird to me, but damn, it does feel good to use. Yeah. Right now, the picks Hello are going on. Hollow Bastion, it is. <laughs> uh, looks like the second game we played on Hollow Bastion. What do you guys think about this stage? This stage is really cool. It has a platform in the middle, which a lot of players do tend to use to their advantage. I think, honestly, it's a little weird pick because it's a huge stage and Snake can easily just camp Kazi out. But Joel, if he's picked the stage, he definitely has something in mind. That Let's is see. True. Yep, his range of explosives with the range of logative products. Hell yeah, I see the chat already, you know, helping us out there. Thank you so much, chat. You guys are awesome, awesome. But the game has begun. It looks like Jolt has got some damage off of Deedis, but now it's even Stevens with 24% for both of them right now. And DDIS is using his grenades to kind of give himself some reverse momentum, kind of confuse Jolt on where he's going to land. Jolt, however, using a platform, getting a platform tech chest with that down be there.
Yeah, as you saw that he just wave bounced with that grenade to get away from Joel, kind of forcing him to whiff a move because he thought he's going to land straight on her. And oh. almost through the up smash. If you guys saw that the grenade which went up came straight down and hit Kasia, but because he was doing the rage drive command grab, he just armored through it. And it's back to even right now, gets the grab. Goes for the forward throw because it's not high enough percent to get hit by up tilt. Gets the down and that's going to be hit. Perfect play coming there from Didas. Oh, misses the air at all, has no resources to make it back to stage. But it looks like he pulled off an AJ. I think that's the current uh, trend right now, falling off the map. The AJ moment. The AJ moment, AJ moment right AJ there. Moment right there. Unfortunate, unfortunate, you hate to see it. But hey, AJ moment is part of this massive. Oh, and as we can see there, Jolt's electric when God fists while activating the grenade do no damage to Kazi at all because of the invincibility during that move. Sends him down. Does not go for the laser to edge guard him. Waits for him to recover. Kaz Snake making it on stage instead of going to ledge here. Gonna take a bit more damage, but now he's back on stage. Oh, Jolt barely missing that tech chase. Oh. oh, oh, good chain of attacks right there coming yeah. from Didas. I think, oh, but oh. Jolt with but the Jolt comeback. With the I think oh. DDIS had realized he was just, his game plan for a while was just to keep Jolt out. He was using Nikita's and grenades and he loses the stock, but now he takes one of his own and we're back to 0-0 zero, zero at last stock. This game is neck and neck. Jolt taking some time on the Angel oh, platform. Yeah. Asian moments are iconic, like the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so uh, chat, just to FYI, uh, yeah, let's, let's stop the sellout, alright? Like, to stop me, I just did that because it was funny, right? But they are pretty good products. Yeah. Okay, like, Logitech, please thank you. You can so start back again once they pay us for saying that. Yeah. Yo, we don't talk about that here. <laughs> anyway, back to the match, as you can see, 57% to 95 between Jolt and BD. So the second game in this best of five loser final right here. Ooh, that nade goes off, but the shield protects him. Oh. DDI is a bit low right now and gets Ooh. trades there. Trades with the dragon uppercut. Gonna die there and we're even in the set right now. And I'm not really sure what the plan here was, but Jolt takes on a hollow bastion. Maybe the SD costing DDI is a bit too much here. Okay, so for game three, smash one. Okay. Is that DSR? Oh, but you won on small battlefield, but yeah, it's fine. Okay, so Town and City is a stage. Town and play. City with the with the song Bubblegum KK. Have you guys seen that YouTube video about that one <laughs> singer? Yeah, she, she uses her mouth to make that sound. Yeah, that's cool. bro, that's talent. That yeah. is a talented. Yo, hello, Draft Dragon. You, you should have been here. Where have I went to here? What a jolting for the events. Wow. Did I just say fun? Damn. Oh, but the game has started, and Joel is taking a bit of damage right here from that grenade spam. Oh my lord, that's a lot of explosives. Joel keeping Town and City open here, not, not really at disadvantages to him, sure like Snake can run around but while the platforms are slightly higher up or not on stage, it's basically final destination for him. But not to Snake mention the... Snake can use those platforms to his advantage yeah, really he can, well. He can definitely, but it's just this game, this matchup really needs him to like, need, has this, he's very stage dependent, like now there are no platforms, so this is final destination for Joel. He's true. free to combo and there is no scale, like platform tech that Snake can perform with. Oh, it's a neck on that shot right there. But it looks like at the moment, Jolt might be in need of some platforms because GDIS is taking advantage of the final destination's layout and just bombarding him with projectiles. Oh, GDIS smartly camps him out. Well. Oh. Will Jolt get out of this? Oh. Mm. And as you can see, here's where DDS's nice. pick actually makes sense here. He's sitting in a corner, he's spamming projectiles. And while Jolt is trying to get in, he's either taking damage or not doing anything at all. So, working out here in DDS's favor. Almost gets the shield break there by the down smash, but the grenade's gonna just throw him off. This has to be annoying if someone like Azuya, where you have to be like close range. That but is definitely true. Okay. Ooh, oh, first waits start. for the. Covers both options, he does the down tilt in case Joel didn't do the stall and then does the up tilt anyways. Ignoring the down B armor there. I mean, waiting for the down B armor to finish there and going for the up tilt. Oh. You want some speed? No, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. 
Speed is at 136 percent, but and just three shots. Yep. Actually, like he's already like he already got door to 97 percent. Oh my God, the down air is broken. That is true. And it will be last out situation. Oh, Joel trying to go for an up B. They're trying to read a jump possibly. This match is intense. And Didi is just skillfully camping him out there. 178 and he's still alive against the Kalsia. That is something that is very rare to see here. That is true. And oh. Joel having to waste his rage drive on a 176% Kalsia means there's nothing left for this next stock here. So no additional credit, no free fucky damage here. But he's just using what he can get right now, which I can understand. Sword at 164, still trying to get in as much damage as possible. Confirm that that's uh, Jolt is on his he last stop of the game. He just played a Bruno Mars grenade with Jolt right there in the second stop. Let me catch a grenade for you. And this is how it ended up. It's still one stock versus two stocks, and he's taken a lot of damage. Oh, and he's barely living there. I think that was bad DI on DDS's part, but because of Talon City's high blast zones, he's going to survive that. That is true. And yeah, this is where. The, this is where Tana City has a stage is against Joel because now the ADIs has the platforms to mess around on and yeah, he completely just camp out cars here and you can see Joel getting impatient they're going for the dragon uppercut in neutral and he's gonna get that, he's gonna get that down B. Joel, DDI is knowing how to DI that move. Tries to chase him all the way up there not getting anything. Oh, goes for an up smash, but oh, oh the grenade oh, saving his life. That weird. I'm not sure why Joel waited there, but anyways, the grenade is going to explode there, not allowing Joel to take that stock. And DDS is just building up damage here. With a few percent, he's going to lose the rage oh. drive. He loses it anyways. Oh, but yeah, Joel, he's got a stock. Yeah, yeah, but Joel is at extremely high damage right now. One hit, he could be just sent off the map. And the oh. up smash comes and down. Cause you're no! DDIS with the lead. DDIS is one game away from getting his run back against uh, Crimson and getting paid at this event. Yeah, just like I'm getting paid for this event. I should be getting paid for my bus through this event. I'm getting paid this event. He's clapped. I should be getting paid simply because Floor came in losers that early. See, the only, see, trust me, the only uh, form of payment you need, and trust me, this is actually a very, very good life uh, lesson, is the validation of chat. The chat loves you, and that's it, man. You can be protected. But this only works in the age of 25, because after 25, you're going to need money. <laughs> you're going to need money. So that's where you need to survive. <laughs> Okay, looks like we're going back to Hollow Bastion once again for game four of the losers finals of Let's Go Wait, Land. Is DSR not active? No. 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 Alright. No DSR. Ah, okay. <laughs> game four. Snake from Elgia Solid, Kazia from Tekken. Both using their both using their default alt actually. They both have a dedicated alt for each of their characters, but it looks like they're in the mood for serious business here. As a little Mac player, it feels 10 times worse. Well, And we're seeing a bit of camping coming out from Jolt's side here, just with the laser spams and playing around the platforms. Yes, which is rather odd for Jolt. He tends to close the gap. But I can understand why he is keeping his distance from Snake as well. Early game, you know, get those pokes in with the laser and, you know, you can go ahead and press it. Oh, that, oh, the grenades interrupting the combo. Like I said, if Jolt messes up his combo by one frame, he gets grenade, but he doesn't need the combo to kill TDI using the dragon uppercut there. GDI is showing a bit of desperation with that random F smash, not getting punished for it though. And now he has to play extremely carefully of Jolt's rage drive. He does not want to take 40% damage 
at the beginning of his second start. Yeah, that could be a, that's a huge amount of extra credit for Jolt, and he is but successful. He is successful. He does not have to worry about rage mode for a while now. Can we just talk about how we've seen them both at 0-0% so many times? It's like, they're evenly matched, you know, once somebody's in an advantage state, they just play the hell out of that advantage Play the state. hell out of the advantage, that is true. Oh, oh and an unfortunate oh, SD here. Could this be what DDIS needs to wrap this debt? Jolt possibly on his tournament stock here. And DDI is starting off with a few back airs. Looking like Dr. Mario here, just zoning him out. Drops a C4, gets that. Jolt not keeping track of where the C4s are, where the grenades are. A lot going on in his mind right now for the SD. There we go, there's a combo. The grenades just acting like a third wheel here for Jolt. Jolt is at a severe disadvantage right now. And Jolt is at, Jolt is like 42% away from getting guaranteed grab kill. And that percentage just keeps getting lower and lower. Yeah, that's that's gonna hurt him even more if he does manage to take off a stock. But you know, always believe in the you know, always believe this is the final of course, you know, there's Oh and the C4 exploding and DDIS taking that spoke too soon, spoke too soon by DDIS. He will move forward to the grand final question mark? Grand finals. Grand finals here at the Let's Go Land, sponsored by Logitech G. We're here 